In the game Halo 4, fans were treated to an extension of the game called Spartan Ops. Spartan Ops carried on six months after the events of the Halo 4 campaign and centred around the starship Infinity, going to Requiem, which is the Forerunner planet Master Chief discovers in Halo 4. During this time on Requiem, a Forerunner artifact steals the Infinity's top scientist, Dr. Glassman. This is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Dr. Glassman! Oh! Oh! Captain! Ah! And Dr. Halsey is brought aboard the Infinity to figure out what happened to Dr. Glassman. Dr. Halsey, thank you for coming. I'm not walking around the ship I built with my hands cuffed. Show me the artifact. She investigates the artifact and through a series of events, she eventually winds up on the alien planet in the Covenant's care and considered a traitor by the UNSC. Today I shall follow my predecessor's advice. You are hereby ordered to eliminate Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey. She then works with the Covenant and investigates another Forerunner artifact that allows her to commune with one of the long dead Forerunners, named the Librarian, and whom gives her the Janus Key. This is the Janus Key. It offers the real-time location of every piece of Forerunner technology in the galaxy. Every piece? We did not create so much without a means to catalogue it all. The key has two parts to it, and one part the humans get, thanks to Dr. Halsey. Or take the key! And the other half, however, is kept by the alien covenant leader, Jewel Dharma, who then leaves Requiem and takes Dr. Halsey to work for him. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll have played this game and expected the story to continue in Halo 5. However, this is the last we see of the Janus Key in the Halo game series. The story kind of continues with Dr. Halsey still in the alien's possession, but she is rescued by the Spartans as the first mission in Halo 5, and the key is never mentioned again. Dr. Halsey, Captain Lasky would like a word with you. It took you long enough. I thought maybe there'd be another Spartan Ops for Halo 5, but apparently the Spartan Ops wasn't very successful, and so 343 Industries aren't doing any more of them, though hopefully they'll change their mind on this. But this does beg the question, what happened to the Janus Key? Well, though it isn't mentioned again in the games, it is mentioned in the Halo comics. And shortly after the events of Spartan Ops, Dr. Halsey decides she doesn't care about right or wrong or aliens or humans. She just wants to use the key to get to the absolute record and the ultimate knowledge it contains. So she makes a plan to acquire the human's half of the key and hacks Infinity's engines to bring them to her. She is then able to trap them there by stopping the engines from taking the ship anywhere else. Get the engine room on the line. Aye, aye, sir. Dr. Glassman, Infinity's losing power. So I've noticed, Captain. Ah! Artificial gravity is offline as well. Sir, being pulled towards the planet. I need answers. You take engines built by aliens a hundred thousand years ago and hire a war criminal to bolt them onto the ship. Ah! You can't expect predictable behavior. She is able to do this, and the Infinity's chief engineer can't fix it because. She installed these engines. No one in the UNSC understands them as well as she does. So she has them in her sights, and then the crew of Infinity track a signal that they think is stopping the ship's engines from working, which Dr. Halsey has deliberately left to lure them into a trap. She has planted a false forerunner artifact that looks like it needs the Janus key to activate it, so that the crew of Infinity will bring down their half of the key where she is able to get at it, or rather, where the Covenant can steal it from them so that she is able to use it. Once she has both parts of the Janus key, she uses it to find where the absolute record is, which is still quite tricky even with the key. But she is eventually able to use it to find the location of a slipspace portal that will take her to the absolute record. 
Meanwhile, the crew of Infinity are trying to get to her and the Janus Key in order to stop her from going to the Absolute Record and giving the knowledge there and the power there to the Covenant. To this end, a small crew sneaks on board the ship Dr. Halsey is on and intends to follow her to the Record and then send a signal to the Infinity so they know where it is and then can come through and rescue them. Things don't really work out that way though. When the slip space portal is activated, it destroys some of the Covenant ships, along with the signaling device that the Spartans were going to use to signal their location. So, they have to split up, with one team going after Halsey and the other staying behind. This is so that they can protect the portal so the other team is able to come back, since without the portal, they will have no way of getting home. When they all finally get to the absolute record, they find the installation has a monitor with a severe attitude. And even though Dr. Halsey has the Janus key, which should automatically mean she has access to the installation, the Monitor has been tricked before and doesn't believe the Librarian gave it to her and wants to test her before he'll give her full access to the Absolute Record. The Monitor also detects the other humans and wants to test them as well to see who is the most worthy of having full access to the installation. The reason for this is because the Librarian always intended to leave the installation to humans. The test is weird. The two parties are separated and ask the same questions and even though they both give opposing answers, the Monitor says that both of them were right. But, before the test is finished, Dr. Halsey hacks the monitor's system and cuts him out of the installation, effectively taking control for herself. She then accesses the Absolute Record's knowledge and uses the installation's equipment to try and kill the Covenant who held her hostage. Meanwhile, the other humans are trying to work out what to do when the Monitor comes up to them. It turns out that the Monitor have a fail-safe protocol to have his mind placed in a drone if ever someone else took control of the base. The Spartans decide to help the Monitor, and while Dr. Halsey is using the installation to kill the Covenant, they use the Chaos to help put the Monitor back in control. The Monitor then says to Halsey that she would have been given control anyway, as she was the one who had passed the test. But, since she tried to take the installation by force, the Monitor destroys the Janus Key and kicks everyone off of the base and back through the slipspace portal. The Spartans go home and Dr. Halsey goes back to the Covenant, which then leads on to the events of Halo 5. And that is what happens with the Janus Key. And I've got to admit, I'm kind of pissed off about this, personally. The whole Janus Key was the build-up and cliffhanger ending of Spartan Ops, and then it's just forgotten, discarded, and never mentioned again in Halo 5. Just because Free 4 Industries didn't think Spartan Ops made enough money, so they're not going to do another one, which is kind of a middle finger to the fans, if you ask me. But what do you think? Does this piss you off as much as me? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe, share, like, and comment. That's easy, Jewel. I want revenge.